All right, next up, what we got here is a PS13 Coupe. Absolute unit of a drift car, um, but it needs some wiring. So we're gonna be doing a chassis harness on this car. At the same time, there's a clone of this car that I'm gonna be building a chassis harness for also. So one left-hand drive, one right-hand drive, but identical cars, everything's gonna be set up the same. So this should be pretty cool. This car is sick though. Uh, I'm gonna start ripping out the interior and we'll get a better look at all the wiring. All right, so it's really not that bad in here. I mean, it's just factory wiring, so it's, you know, kind of a mess. It's hard to make it look nice with factory wiring, but like that's the only thing that's not like super nice on these cars. So we're gonna get that right. Um, I'm gonna start by ripping all this out. We've got a bunch of zip ties holding everything together and, you know, the factory fuse box over here and stuff. We're going to take everything out, strip it down. Now it kind of looks like a mess. Now that everything's not zip tied up, that's a lot of wiring. Man, this thing's gonna look sick afterwards. All right, now that's that's it. That's everything. Let's get this out of here. All right, so that's basically everything. The only thing that's left is uh, just some of this wiring to that gauge and the ECU and engine harness wiring. I'll clean all this stuff up though. And uh, now I can start mocking up harness length. All right, got the engine harness wiring cleaned up. I just looped this section over here. I'm gonna have the fuse box over in this corner. So these are my chassis interface plugs. They'll be over there. And, uh, yeah, just kind of simplified that a little bit. It's a wiring specialties harness, so it should be fine. I'm not going to touch the engine harness. All right, I got some string, tape, and a marker. I'm going to start mocking up this harness and getting all my links. We're going to start over in this corner because that's where the fuse box is going to be, just like the FC. Um, and then go up all the way across. Um, and then the other car I'm wiring is left-hand drive, so it's going to be... Kind of the same but completely different at the same time because fuse box will be over there and the firewall bulkhead will still be over there whereas the steering wheel is over here and it's just going to be coming over here for the steering wheel and then the whole rear harness will have to come down this way whereas this car is going to come out of the fuse box and the rear harness will just go straight down so the only harness that's going to be the same in both of these cars is going to be the front harness because they'll both be coming out on the same side um, other than that everything's going to be a hundred percent flipped so quite a bit of different wire links. See, I told you there was two of them. So here's Ryan's car, left-hand drive. Still sick. Same setup. These cars are so cool. So. What I'm gonna do now is same thing I did on that car. I'm still waiting on um, the S15 hazard switch for Josh's car, but I diagrammed that already um, with the factory FSM. So that's good to go. So now I'll just uh, take this dash out and strip out the harness. All right, dash is out. Basically same thing, basically same car, so. Uh, let's get to uh, ripping this out now. Woo! All right, we got the first one made up. This is gonna be for the right-hand drive car. We've got all the holes, everything's mounted. Now I'm gonna unbolt the stuff and wrap it. All right, check that out. We got start and we got finish and it's going to fit real nice in here, but that's where it's going to sit.
we still got all the wiring and this thing that I haven't pulled out yet because I just want to leave this car running because it's kind of in the middle of the shop at the moment. But All right, so my pro wire order just came in. Got all my wire now. We're using all um, Tefsol wire. So we've got um, mainly using 32. We've got a little bit of 16 in here too but all the way from 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, and then an assortment of Raychem from three quarter, half inch, three eighths, quarter inch, and three sixteenths. I think I already showed you the two fuse boxes. One's left hand drive, one's right hand drive. We've got our Deutsch connectors. Um, these are DTs, these are DTPs, and then, and here we've got our firewall bulkhead connectors and just uh, random boots and stuff. And then all of this is our heat shrink, a little bit more excess ray cam in here. Um, strobe modules. So yeah, I've got everything laid out right now. So what I'm gonna start doing is just, uh, I believe I'm gonna start on the rear harness. So I got one vice down here, grab another vice for over here. Um, I'll start laying out lengths and we'll start wiring. Okay, just kidding. I'm gonna start on the front harnesses because um, I can like finish those out completely because we've got the firewall plug here. This is gonna be the front side. So you can see it's twist lock, back side, also labeled. And then this is gonna be our 90 degree connector that'll come right off the firewall. So we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna wrap this in captain tape, put it in the vise and start pinning this harness out. All right, so step one, this is my whole front harness. As you can see, this is what all the numbers were for. Every wire has its own number. We don't care about colors. This is the whole front harness. All my links are all cut out perfectly. So now what we're gonna do is, got the connector up here. We're gonna start pinning it center outwards. All right, I got the whole connector pinned, safety looped, service looped. This is gonna be my wiper plug, so this is gonna be out by itself, and then this will be the main loom, all these. All right, I got ray cam on all the way up to the first transition, my wiper plug, and I'm about to put my 90 degree boot wherever it just went. Where'd it go? Right here, on the ground. I'm about to put that on. This is uh, after you shrink it, it turns into a 90.
Okay, so those clusters are basically the last thing uh, to finish up the cars. So now I can start putting the entire interior back together. But this is what it looks like, fully wired. Um, the nylon braided, that's like the wiring specialties harness. And then the other loom is chassis harness that I put in here. Fuse box. Got the OEM S15 hazard. We got like cigarette lighter, we got radio, we got underglow, spare 12 volt, um, strobe switch. Come around to the other side. We got brand new OEM wiper switch and headlight switches. This is gonna be for our cluster. We just finished wiring up. Flash a relay.
Okay, so we're all finished up. We got all the interior back in. It's ready for pickup. So just like the FC, I um, wired everything to factory switches. So this is going to be our dual purpose light right here. It comes on when we turn the kill switch on. And then after the ignition is on, it's going to be our uh, strobe light warning telling us that our strobe lights are on. The wiper motor's not in there, but you can hear it. Uh, we used the factory hazard button. Everything's everything's all factory switched in here. All right, so here's car number two, the left-hand drive car. All finished up, ready to go. We got a death the advanced meters in this one. Then we got the S13 center console, so we got switches that come all the way back here. Same exact setup as the other car though, Link Monsoon, SR, and same fuse box. Just gotta fix that carpet over there. And then uh, I'm gonna put the dash in and get this one wrapped up too. The other one's gone. And then get this one out of here tomorrow.